Hi, today we are going to learn about solving problems involving parallel lines cut by a transversal. Let's look at a problem. Solve. Lines R and T are parallel and measure of angle 7 is 59 degrees. Means this angle is 59 degrees. What is the measure of angle 2? This is angle 2 here. Let's see it in another figure. This is R, this is T, this is transversal Q. This is angle 7 equals 59 degrees and this is angle 2. Angle 2 as we can see is corresponding to angle 6. This is angle 6. Both are lying above the parallel line and are on the same side of the transversal. So we can say measure of angle 2 is equal to measure of angle 6 by corresponding angles are congruent. And if you see angle 6 and angle 7, they are lying on a straight line. So they will form a linear pair. That is, the measure of both the angles added together will be 180 degrees. So we can say measure of angle 6 plus measure of angle 7 is equal to 180 degrees. Angles lying on a straight line form a linear pair. So this implies measure of angle 6 plus measure of angle 7 is 59 is equal to 180 minus 59 both sides. Measure of angle 6 is equal to 121 degrees. So since measure of angle 2 is equal to measure of angle 6, this implies measure of angle 2 is equal to 121 degrees. Which is the answer option in the C part. We can highlight that. Next problem. Solve. Lines R and T are parallel and measure of angle 5 is 39 degrees. What is the measure of angle 6? This is angle 5 and this is angle 6. Both are lying on a straight line. So they form a linear pair. Therefore we can say measure of angle 5 plus measure of angle 6 is 180 degrees. Angles lying on a straight line form a linear pair. This implies measure of angle 5 is 39 plus measure of angle 6 is equal to 180 minus 39 both sides. So we can say measure of angle 6 is equal to 180 minus 39 which is 141 degrees. Which is the answer in the D part. Next problem. Solve. Lines R and T are parallel and measure of angle 3 is equal to 29 degrees. What is the measure of angle 8? This is measure angle 8. Let's draw the figure again. R, T, transversal Q. This is 3 equals 29 degrees and this is angle 8. Now you can see in the figure that angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate interior angles. Both are lying inside the parallel lines and on the opposite side of transversal. So, measure of angle 3 is equal to measure of angle 5. We can say alternate interior angles are congruent. So angle 3 is given as 29 degrees. So this implies measure of angle 5 is also 29 degrees. And 5 and 8 are lying on a straight line. So they form a linear pair. So let's apply the property. Measure of angle 5 plus measure of angle 8 is equal to 180 degrees. I can say linear pair. So measure of angle 5 is 29 plus measure of angle 8 is equal to 180 subtracting 29 both sides. Measure of angle 8 is equal to 
10 minus 9, 1, 7 minus 2, 5, 1 minus 0, 1, 151 degrees as the answer, which is in the A part. I hope you can practice more problems on solving problems involving parallel lines cut by a transversal now. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.